there everybody, yes, here for Creativo.com and I got a request asking how to do this effect uh, and as you see this is a 3D effect so I asked him do you want me to show you doing this in 3D but he wanted me to show him how to do this in 2D so then we're going to make this in Photoshop instead so we're going to create this uh, this is a similar effect to that uh, it will make your planet if you say like that based on a photograph so we're going to use this photograph this is the same photo and what we want to start off with is just cropping this so we want to have pretty little piece of the ground with and just more of the trees and sky so I'm going to have it around here uh, around there and then we just press OK what we want to do then after that is just go to image and then image size and we want to put this on like 25 to 5 around there it doesn't really matter remember to uncheck constraint proportions otherwise you can't change this because it will look like this uh, so you just take that off and you can select and write so there we go and when we've done that you see here we get a perfect square and that's what we're after we want the perfect square uh, we then want to just go into edit uh, and then uh, oh, we want to take off also so this is not a locked layer like that and then we just want to edit and then flip vertically and when we've done that we want to go into filter distort and polar coordinates and we want to select rectangular to polar and just press ok and as you see here now we got to start our planet it's round planet already so what we want to do then is just uh, fix this line here because it's this is the start of the photo and this is the end of the photo at the same place and there's the, of course different colors so what I found as a good way of doing it is just go here and we just take this uh, our clone stamp and we just paint uh, this big tree part here and we just take this then oh actually on the wrong layer there there we go just paint in the big tree uh, just make sure to get as much as possible because we can always delete that layer and then edit transform and flip vertically and then we just move it in position around there something like that we want to make sure that it's not too um, it doesn't look too uniform so we're going to delete also a bit of these trees here on this side so it doesn't look exactly like we just copied it like that and then uh, we can uh, delete a little bit of this tree on this side like that and then as you see we just have the top part of our tree here that we just took we're just gonna delete that let's raise up our eraser a little bit and then just work our way around there and then when we've done this all we want to do is get rid of this line and then it's just simple as yeah always <laughs> we just take our clone stamp here and we just dot and then just take around there and dot and there it's fixed so that's basically how you do it and then like I did on my image I just took a big soft brush and I took a brush with a, a big particle explosion let's see here if we can find that one Ah, that one is pretty good I think around here something like that and then we just I just exploded that in here to just get a little bit of contrast like that so that's basically how you do it guys so um, yeah this is how you make a little planet and you can do this with any photograph you want I just showed it with trees because it's harder so um, make sure to um, play around with this and if you do anything just show it to us and uh, yeah if you have any other questions uh, or you want to see how to do anything just send me a picture of how it looks and ask me how do I do this effect and I will make sure to come back to you on that so thank you guys and see ya